Hey guys, it's Meg, and welcome back to my channel. Today is something a little different. I am customizing a Rainbow High doll. This is Cheryl from Series 2, I think. And this is her face up. So this process was a little different than I'm normally used to, even with BJDs, because I decided I was going to dye her hair, not make a wig. So there was no way to get the eyes in other than to cram them into the eye sockets, which that was a journey. That is not what we're here for. So it's my normal process. I start with my first layer, and this is just laying down basic color, like I always do. And as you can see, I did make her eyes off camera, and I did dye her hair, which you will see at the end. Um, but because I didn't want MSC to cloud her eyes, I did what a few people have done, and I basically masking taped them off. Um, because I was going to use her original eyes but when I was pulling them out of her head, they cracked and it kind of made me angry. So I just made her some regular resin eyes, which again, you will see at the end. Now the process for her was basically almost the same as a BJD or um, Monster High doll. You just lay down layer after layer of pastel and pencil and paint and whatever you're using um, until you can't build it anymore and then you seal and rinse repeat. Uh, basically uh, I treated her almost like I would a BJD head but with the eyes already placed in the head. Um, so yeah other than that it was it's basically pretty standard. The dyeing her hair part was really, really fun though, I have to admit. And um, if you're interested in that, I do have a small clip on my coffee, which uh, anyone who supports me will be able to see. So yeah.
So for me, eyebrows are really fun to do, but they're never twins, ever. Um, they're very close cousins, um, maybe even sisters, but definitely not twins. Originally when I started this face up, I thought I would make her my mini-me, but I decided against that because I, I, for some reason, Rainbow High just, they're not what I gravitate to with like what I want to represent like me in doll form. Um, I do have a made to move curvy Barbie that will be uh, customized probably on the channel at some point. Um, but I did give her very um, kind of neutral uh, uh, make eye makeup, which I ended up going very ham and heavy-handed towards the end with her uh, painted lashes, which you will see. So her eye makeup is a little dark; it's just brown. But um, yeah, I didn't really do a whole 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 lot this time.
after eyebrows, I feel like lips are my favorite thing to do, and I didn't want hers to be as dark as Grace's, my Monster High custom Rochelle, but I still wanted that kind of vibrant, youthful, plump look to them, so um, I didn't use nearly as much red, but they do kind of have that, um, I guess, bitten is the word, um, but they turned out really well, and I gave her a little little teeth back um, and I, I really really love how her face up turned out except for the lower lashes <laughs> those are um those were kind of crazy So once I've laid down pastel and pencil as much as I can, I decide to go in with paint. Now, 
I went in with brown paint for the lower lashes first and I probably should have just left it there because here I'm getting my black done and while the consistency and the lashes themselves were um, probably the best that I have ever done, um, I went way too heavy handed and there are way too many. Um, but I don't know that I will ever redo her, um, honestly, because she did turn out um, pretty well and I, I am kind of, kind of uh, happy with how that um, all turned out, but yeah, very, very heavy handed and um, next time, because there will be a next time, um, I probably will just stick with maybe not lining them with pencil first. Maybe I will just um, lay them down with either a couple layers of brown or just one bit of black instead of black pencil, brown pencil, brown paint, brown, black paint. So, yeah, but it's okay. It was for a first try on a monster on a rainbow high. Whoop. Um, it's okay.
And now it's time to break out the mica powders, which I use these on every face up I do, BJD, Monster High, and this girl, I will be using them on um, the Barbie I customize. I'll be using these on everything. Angela, uh, Lady Bacha, The Crafty Atelier sent these to me and I absolutely love them so much. So I'm just laying down some of these on her lips with the pink and then her brow and eyelid area um, and also um, the corners of her eyes with the white just to give a little sparkle or shimmer um, when the light hits in certain angles it's kind of just something that i've been doing for a while and I i'm kind of obsessed with it now so <laughs> it's just i guess part of like my style So now that she has had her shimmer added and her little teeth, um, it's time to gloss her eyes and lips and to add her lashes back in. So there were a few spots where the masking tape on her eyes didn't quite cover when I was sealing. So I did have to kind of scrape off gently the, um, the sealant uh, and it came off okay and I managed to not scratch her eyes with my exacto blade which I was freaking out about um, in hindsight I should have made her eyes uh, 18 millimeter instead of 16 millimeter um, these came out okay but I feel like her iris is just a little too small she kind of has a surprise look so next time I will probably look at making um, 18 millimeter eyes, maybe. No, I I, th I think I I think I used 14 millimeter, but either way, I will probably go a bit bigger uh, next time. I did end up glossing her eyes a little bit to even out the shine. And uh, other than that, the placement and everything else, um, I'm really happy with how she looks and how she turned out. And you'll see, I did her hair at the end which um, I don't normally do. I'm not really a, a hairstylist. All my dolls pretty much have straight hair. <laughs>
these are actually BJD eyelashes that I had set aside, but since none of the dolls I have wear lashes now, and the future doll that I am planning will also not wear lashes, um, I figured I would just use these on her since I pretty much destroyed her original lashes. They're a little too wispy. Um, they could have been a lot fuller and maybe longer, but it's what I had on hand, so it's what I used. And another couple coats of gloss on her lips and waterline, and uh, she's almost done. I don't think I add anything else. I thought about maybe giving her a nose ring or maybe some kind of eyebrow piercing because I do have some small um, micro beads, but I just left her as is. She's pretty enough, and I really enjoy how she looks. And lastly, I did paint her nails because. One thing I love about Rainbow High Dolls is that their nails are all painted. Uh, she is series two, so she doesn't have the long cat nails, but that's okay. I think the next girl I get will. And of course, I did make the nails teal, my favorite color. So, with that, uh, she's ready to be unwrapped. Um, her face up, in my opinion, turned out pretty good. Um, it doesn't look as bad on camera as it does to me in person, but those lower lashes are crazy. I, I went really, 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 really ham with those, but um, yeah. So tell me what you guys think. Uh, all in all, for a first try, I think this turned out pretty well, and um, I definitely want to be doing more. And yeah, so this is uh, my custom Rainbow High Girl. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Her outfit. <laughs>